All right, guys. Well, my mailman came today, and I've got another package here. So I'm going to bring you to the bench, and we'll open this up together and see what I got. So give me a minute. Two. And we'll call that three and four. So, four cars. But today, we're going to just concentrate on one car. And let me just move this box. And we'll call this uh, car opening one of four. So let's just concentrate on the one car in this video. And we will continue with the others in the other video. So this is today's feature car. And it's not a car. As you can see, it is the track cleaning truck. So I've been waiting for this for a while. I've been uh, running a Swiffer over my track to clean it. And I'd really like to see how this does as compared to the Swiffer. So here is the truck. It's pretty cool looking. Let me take it off the stand. And I know there's been reviews done on it. I know Dave at Slotar said the magnets were way too powerful, but we will have to see for ourselves. But yeah, nice, nice looking truck. Obviously it's not gonna be a runner. It's not designed for that. I guess if you had two of them, you could race them, but why would you wanna race a track cleaning truck? But anyways, all right, let me, uh, let me see what else came in the box because there's got to be some cleaning pads and everything else. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, aside from your braids, additional braids, you've got some more braid, oops. And you've got an, a guide as well. But you also get some of this track cleaning cloth. Boy, it's very small but it's got a little slits in it, as you can see here. This little, I gotta see how to figure this, how to get this out. <laughs> it's always something, right? Well, we're getting there. Okay, there we go. So this just pops out. And you're going to take those little slits and there's little tabs that these slits go around. Okay. Bring them around to this side. There's that. And that. All right. Then this will go back. All 
All right, there you go. So there's how your pad gets attached to the truck. Um, as far as magnetic downforce, Oh yeah, so there are magnets in the pad. And of course the truck itself has magnets. So let's put this on the track and we'll see it in action. All right, give me a minute. Okay, so we've got the truck down on the track. I've got it programmed to the red controller here, and we'll just give it a, a lap around the track. Oh yeah, it is pretty, pretty, oh, I'm in a dead spot. See how good it did at picking up some grime off the track. Ah, not too shabby. You can see the pad's dirty now, which is, you know, it's doing what it's designed to do, right? So let me, I would say, yes, the track cleaner does work. Um, obviously it does something. My only concern is because the magnetic downforce is so strong and the swath that it cleans you know it's it's not not that much wider than the car itself and obviously when the car comes around the corner it's going to want to drift and this guy is not going to drift right because he's got so much downforce I mean, that's not a lot of drift, and you can see he's on this white, dot, white dotted line, and the cleaner pad really does not go out that far, so only time will tell. I mean, so far, it's working good, so we'll see. I'm going to have to try to remove, see what the magnet is in here, and try to remove some of it, if not all of it, and maybe just put a weight on top, but yeah, it, it does really hold down tight onto the track all right so if you look at the bottom of the track cleaner you can see there's four screws in the corners and here is where it houses the magnet i'm going to take these screws out and i'm going to move remove the magnet and see uh or actually I'll see how big it is. Maybe I'll put a smaller one in and we'll see how that does. So give me a moment and I'll, I'll swap out the magnet. Well, as you can see with the, the top of this base removed, that was the size I thought the magnet was going to be. But you can see it's a really small magnet. So it just has a lot of downforce to it. So I think I'm gonna remove the magnet altogether. And we'll see what happens then. So now the magnet is removed. I will put this together and maybe I'll just place the magnet on top and we'll see if that has, you know, I want some downforce, but not as, as strong as we had initially to start. It's attached, it's whipping over to the screw. How about a bigger magnet? Let's go. How about we try two of these bigger magnets and we'll put them over the screw. Let's just see. Got a I don't think that's going to do anything because it's not going to create any downforce. 
All right, guys, I think I stumbled upon something here. I've taken four magnets, I've stacked them two and two, and I put them on, on the screws. But when the, when the truck starts to sway out of the slot, that magnet kicks into the rails and does create some downforce. Not much, but it does. And if you look, you can see the, the black lines here swinging out to the side where it actually cleans the track swinging out to the side, catching that magnet as it was swaying around these outside bends, right? Because you can see it's it would shoot towards that magnet by my finger. That's the lines right there, shooting towards that magnet. So I think by just adding those two extra magnets on top of the screws, this is gonna work out fine. Now, now that it could sway and stick to there, you know, this car, uh, yeah, that, that'll, that'll sway that far outside of the track. And uh, I know there's no downforce on this side, but then there is no downforce if the car swings anyway. But it's still going to pick something up, right? So anyways, yeah. So that is car one of four. I will see you next week for car two of four. All right, guys. Talk to you.